Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. And this is somewhat of an emergency broadcast, and that is no joke. My theory that during the shutdown, the uh, lockdown that's going on here in this country right now, that they're closing all the schools and that something would be going on. And I was already thinking this is probably what it was, but I didn't want to say it and lead anyone. So I've had a number of people contact me, but one specifically that is extremely credible, and I want to read our interaction to you, okay? Um, well, let me just read it. Okay, she had contacted me initially just saying, hey, Daniel, if they shut down your channel, please, you know, let me text me your new channel. And at a later date, after I put that video up last night, uh, this person texted me and they said, I work for the local school board. 5G has been getting a lot of bad press lately. We know why. The U.S. Department of Education has been wanting to roll out 5G network in many district schools. Unfortunately, the parents as a whole would try to stop the implementation of it. So the U.S. Department of Education decided to close the schools during the pandemic for two reasons. One, to make parents think it's for their children's safety against the virus, and two, to install 5G networks in many district schools. The 5G companies have been instructed to use the guise of a disinfecting company. Strict orders. If anyone asks, you are a cleaning company there to disinfect the schools. Don't tell anyone that you are installing 5G. All contractors must sign a non-disclosure agreement. This shit is getting real, Daniel. Please help. And of course, I responded, I'm on it. Okay? And I started digging on it. I'll show you a little bit of that here in a minute. But our conversation continued. This person said, I have more critical information classified only because of my position on the school board. Unfortunately, I think I've given you all I can give. I'm one of the few that know. If it gets out, I am, I'm one of three people that could have leaked it. Thanks, Daniel. So I wrote her back. We are talking about a worldwide situation. There is nothing going on just at your school district. However, Whatever they are doing at your school district, they are likely doing across the nation. We do not need to mention the name of your county or the name of your state, but I do need the truth. Isn't that why I'm here and why you are here? This is important. And then I said, plus anything that you know at your level is likely known by hundreds, if not thousands, but they are asleep and may not and maybe do not know the importance of this matter. She responded, Yes, I just texted you that there is more classified information. You are a very smart man. If they are doing this in my district, then they must be doing it nationwide. I also have other information I choose not to divulge, like names of contractors, dates, times of installs, locations, etc. I don't tell you nationwide. You figure that out for yourself. I have access to the U.S. Department of Education web server for my district. For some crazy reason, my login allows me to venture off out of my district into other local districts and the national programs. I can't believe how many schools are going to roll out and implement five implement the 5G networks in such a short period of time. Yes, it's the truth. Most of this has been done has to be done by mid-April. 
the hundreds or thousands that that we may know uh, that may know it and be and be asleep have been notified that 5G is safe and has gotten bad press by conspiracy theorists. We therefore ask you to refrain from asking or acknowledging to the public of this upgrade. We don't need parents with false fears of 5G in this time of the coronavirus pandemic. And she says that wasn't, she says not verbatim, but close, just from memory. <coughs> so, and I, let me read the rest and then I'll talk a little bit. It says, uh, yes, please, don't mention my district. Also, I am one of a few in my state. I would appreciate an anonymity that way. Thanks, Daniel. So this is someone that's in a position of only a few people within a state that has access to knowledge of this 5G rollout in the school districts under the guise of cleaning the schools. Just like what I thought. And now it's confirmed. Okay. So what they are doing is as the shutdown lockdown goes into place, they're doing this with schools. They're installing 5G into your elementary schools and your middle schools and your high schools where your children are going to be exposed eight hours a day to this 60 gigahertz millimeter wave radiation. This is going to devastate the youth of this country and of this world because this is something that's going on worldwide. Why do you think if it's such a good thing that they're sneaking it in the back door and pretending to be a cleaning crew and being told that they cannot say anything, okay? It's because they know it's bad. This is simple and obvious and it has got to be stopped. Hang on just a second. forget to turn that off sometimes but this has got to be stopped and many of you within the sound of my voice have the ability to do something about this and many of you have the ability all of you have the ability to spread this video and not only spread this video spread this information this is something that we can stop but they're going to try to shove it down our throat and they're going after the children. You see, I've told you before that I felt like, and I, and I have many reasons to feel this way. It ain't just a feeling, because I don't bet or talk just on feeling, okay? It's based on knowledge, okay? They're going to ramp this up, making like it's looking really bad, and they're going to install this in the schools, in the hospitals, and everywhere, Okay, and they've got it all planned out so that they've, they've got all their white vans and white trucks and all this stuff ready to go pack full of this equipment. And over the next 30 days or so, they're going to shove it down our throat while we're sitting at home. And then they're going to say, okay, everything's all right. You guys can come on out. It's safe, just like Wuhan. We got all their 5G in before you know, back in December before they got sick. Thank God we had 5G, 60 millimeter, 60 gigahertz millimeter wave, 5G there. You see, by December 1st of 2012, China had a law that said that they had to have all of their immunizations by December 1st, 2019. And the country declared that they had Wuhan fully installed by the 1st of December 2019 with 5G, 60 gigahertz, millimeter wave, 5G. Now, come here in about 30 to 60 days, we are going to be in the same boat as Wuhan. You see, we don't have 5G coverage right now. But while we're sitting at home, 
They're putting it in the schools. They're putting it in the hospitals. They're putting it in the office buildings, especially government ones. And they're putting it on the streets everywhere. I guarantee you there is a huge crew a huge crew of people that are clueless and they think they're doing something good because this is going to help fight the virus and they're out installing this stuff 24 hours a day 7 days a week is it happening yet? no maybe not but it's coming as soon as this lockdown and that's coming they're going to lock down the entire United States they've covered, they've closed the borders already I know for a fact the Canadian border's closed. I have a man that lives literally spitting distance to the border, and it's closed. No one coming, no one going. This was the last message that this person sent me. They said, please don't understand, Daniel. Don't misunderstand, Daniel. I am not speculating this. I have first-hand knowledge of fact. You see, this ain't a conspiracy theory. This is a conspiracy. They are coming for you. They're coming for your children. And they're coming for you. And if we don't do something, then we deserve what we get. And that's how they see it. If we don't do something to stop them, we deserve it. And that's how they see it. That's their moral place they stand on. That if we're not smart enough or willing to take any risk or do anything to stop them, then we deserve it. That's the moral card they stand on. Now, I've done my part. This beautiful lady has done her part. Now, y'all guys got to do your part. You know, let me share something else with you here. This person says, Daniel, I live by the Rosebud Suez Reservation in South, uh, South Dakota. Through a friend of mine, I learned last week, Thursday or Friday, FEMA unloaded a semi-truck of plastic coffins. What would you imagine they were expecting and preparing for? I said, those are incinerator coffins, likely. Will you look across YouTube and, and Facebook for any videos of trucks loaded with coffins or if you can find find any? So I need y'all guys to scour the internet too as well. Y'all guys are a lot of power for research. So if y'all guys can find this, I'm not talking about old videos. I'm talking about stuff that's new in the last 30 days. Let's say, let's say since the first of uh, January, okay? If you can find stuff that people have put out, catching photos, videos of these coffins on the move, I need to see it. And the reason is, because I know what you're thinking. The reason is, and you're thinking, some of you, that this virus doesn't exist. Well, it might not. But I'll tell you something that does exist. And it's being installed right now. You get it? It don't matter if the virus is real or not. The killer is the 5G. And it's coming. It's being installed behind our backs right now. And fixing to go full blast into the schools and everywhere else. While we're locked down at home. They want everybody at home because they don't want nobody to see what's going on. And they're going to have rules like you have to have permission to leave your house. You think that that won't happen? You watch. Mark my words. That's what they're going to do. Because they want to know where you're going, the path you're taking, so that you won't be making sure you won't be going by and seeing something that they're doing. They're going to have everything controlled. In areas where they're doing their work, they're going to have a, a cop on one end and a cop on the other blocking the road so nobody can't go down through there. You think they won't do it? They're shutting down the world, man. 
They'll shut down the world, but they won't block off a school so you can't see. Uh, we need to wake up. We need to wake up. This person said that uh, also that they, uh, he said, Daniel, my wife is from Europe, and she is hearing, hearing three of her friends have it. Um, and I asked him to check on the coffin information some more, and he's going to check on that some more. Okay. Um, this person's name is Greta. She's from Florida. Uh, she says that I know of one case in Warren, Ohio. He's 50 something and recovering. I said, do you know this person personally? Like you have their phone number, could give them a call if you wanted. And is, I said, and he is COVID-19 positive. She said, uh, it's a family member. He has a video on his Facebook page from his hospital bed. Yes, he is positive. Okay. So what I did a few days ago was ask people to let me know of people that they knew. They knew of personally that were positive for the COVID-19 or that were uh, sick or sick with it or uh, that had died from it. Okay. And then I had Tanya from Southern California contact me and she said hi Daniel thank you for having the courage to stand up as a watchman to answer your question we are in Southern California Orange County border of LA or Louise uh, border of border of LA the shelves are emptying out Costco was sold out of all paper products water rice a week ago now it's hit Target Walmart and food stores as for the illness I cannot stress this strongly enough that it is quite real um, I am extremely sensitive to frequencies and this is this is not 5g yes 5g is toxic and certainly would make this situation worse but not the cause so she's saying there is a virus my husband, Joe, is an international traveler. I'm, I am 50 with three homeschooled kids, 16, 14, 10. They are unvaccinated, organic, and uh, use alternative medicines. On January 17th, Joe returned from a conference in Las Vegas. His boss attended the conference, sick on a return flight from spreading from spending a week in Brazil, everyone at his company who attended the conference got sick about a week later. After a week, after the 17th, my youngest and myself got sick. Three weeks later, my oldest son got sick. About 20 days later, my daughter got sick. The symptoms are the same, and there are three phases. First phase, mild cold-like headaches. Uh, behind the eyes, some eye discharge, mild sore throat, dry cough. Then you seem to get better. Second week later, really tired, achy fever, achy fever, mild dry cough. Kids were up to 104 before bringing down with alcohol rub. 104 degrees temperature. I only went to 102. Fever starts, fever breaks, starts to feel better. Energy very slowly returns. Third week later, tightness in the top of the chest, breathing labored, no fever, just pneumonia like. My husband and oldest and youngest recovered. after a few days of this okay we are now two months out and this is pneumonia for me up until now it was very mild so it's worse obviously california will be exploding soon i have heard the cough from shoppers while out for weeks one of joe's co-workers passed it to her grandma who died from pneumonia two weeks ago Joe attended his aunt's funeral almost three weeks ago in Arkansas. She died of pneumonia. Two weeks after returning from a 
from a cruise ship. They held services in three days after the death. Since there is still no testing, I think the numbers would be showing up in pneumonia deaths. What has been helping best in the last stage is liposomal, liposomal, something like that. You can see it there. Liposomal C. NAC, whatever that is, and I'm not sure. Pre precursor to gluthone, glu, glu, glutathone, something like that. You can read it there. And sitting in a salt salt cave room, and I'm not sure what she means. I might have to ask her. Also listening, and she's got some, she's referring to uh, certain frequency sounds. And then she refers to Dr. Paul Cottrell, recommends to go, recommended, recommendation did not work as well. And in my opinion, Dr. Paul Cottrell is controlled, uh, is a controlled shield. He is, he just like that uh, British nurse that's saying he's a doctor, that is the older man that sits there with his glasses on and reads stuff to you every day, this and this and that and the other. He's an asleep sheep. He's either one of two things, a shield, because he was just on the NBC News, they interviewed him. He's either a shield or an asleep sheep that's trying to help, but isn't because he doesn't understand the dynamics of the evil that's going on. Okay, so from the time I was, a, from the time of a child, I've been shown images of things to come on this planet and they're unimaginable for most. I do believe we are now entering that time. And unfortunately, I agree with you. Uh, let's see here. Those with eyes to see and walk firmly in the spirit will see it. This is the harvest of the souls. Love, Tanya. And she sent me some pictures from Trader Joe's, which were just a bunch of empty shelves. So I texted her back and I said, so how many people do you know personally that have one, have pneumonia or two have died from it in the last 60 days. She texted back again and said two deaths, two in the hospitals, one person in her 20s, and one at home. So five pneumonias, okay, and two of them died. Also in Southern Cal, except one in Arizona. I believe Cali is getting ready to go on lockdown. And I believe you're right. Um, okay, let's look back here for a second. Hang on just a sec. So there's other people out there that are thinking kind of the same way. Now, they're thinking this way. Okay. But we have a first-hand account, guys. Okay. And... I believe her 100% that they are taking this opportunity to go into the schools, okay? Not only the schools, this is their 5G push out. And so about the beginning of summer, they're going to say, well, oh, things are better. Everybody can go back to work. Everybody can go back to school. Everybody can go back and do your normal lives uh, we're going to make America great again. And and then it's going to hit again. But this time, it's going to be reinforced with 5G, 60 millimeter, 60G gigahertz, millimeter wave band uh, frequency, which is going to separate your blood's ability to hang on to oxygen. And you, we're going to see the kind of things that happened in Wuhan and happened with the Spanish flu. History, if we don't stop it, if we don't make something happen here, so I'm doing my best. If we don't make something happen, it's going to be the end for a lot of people. And the blood, 
the blood is going to be on our hands.